Hey everyone, it's Curly Eight Hero, and welcome back to Jump Ultimate Stars. Today we're taking on the uh, World of Yu-Gi-Oh. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna go ahead and try to sort of predict what this world is about, or sort of a, not predict, guess, because uh, I know the World of Yu-Gi-Oh extremely well. I mean, it's almost like I have played two of their games already, <laughs> and gone on and on and on and on about how much I love this series. Uh, now, for this one around, I've decided to use the same deck that I had previously just because I figured I didn't really use it all that much uh, so I figured I'd give it sort of another shot uh, so we have here Zoro again <laughs> Zoro is sort of unfortunate because I replaced him in that other episode um, with another character and then you know last episode I did the same just because it was kind of difficult to use him Let's see if I can knock this one off and I just gotta get this because I see we're doing a J-Symbols match which is really obnoxious because uh, I gotta try my best to sort of kill off that one this Yugi over here while not really caring too much about the other one but making sure he doesn't grab the J-Symbol which uh, should hopefully not appear in front of him no no there we go Whew. Hopefully that was more than enough time. Oh, okay, sweet. We actually got everything on the first try. We got Jonochi here. Perfect. Uh, bunch of random shit. We got Yugi, which is great. Nice. Unfortunately, there's not really much in this game. We did get lucky in that they actually have playable characters. Or character in Yugi, which is cool. And um, Kaiba is a support coma, which is cool. Oh, we actually get to use it. Speaking of the devil. These are all the comas you get for this game, unfortunately. I think you also maybe get... Uh, Solomon, maybe I don't remember, but yeah, you got Yugi, Taya, Joey, uh, Tristan, and Kaiba, or you know, Yugi, Anzu, Jonochi, Honda, and Seto. Go ahead, and uh, I gotta get all the cards in this one. I think this is one of the ones where they kind of just show up here, and I can just no, 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 get them all right away. <laughs> Whoo, yeah, boy, it took like one fucking second. So we got Anzu. Honda and probably Kaiba, or maybe Kaiba, I think you gotta do some other stuff to get him. Uh, well, that was pretty lame. We actually got that really easily. Alright, well, unfortunately, that does it for all the available planets. Next up, we're actually taking on Planet X, which is actually a boss planet. Uh, there's, I think, like four of them in this game. So what I'll do is, uh, since we've got a shit ton of time left, <laughs> that was pretty anticlimactic. Oh, we got Shiru. Huh, I don't know why we didn't already do this for you. Alright. Got, oh, cool, we got some new music. Uh, don't know if there's anyone else around. Yeah, so it'd just be the newer guy. We got here, Taya, who actually unlocked some stuff. Oh, probably just, yeah, her as a helper. Wait, what? Helper! Kakazu Yumi. That's actually interesting. Um, this sort of game also pay hum pays homage to the series that I was talking about before. Because there's also Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duel of Monsters series. And there's Yu-Gi-Oh! The sort of first series which focused on just uh, games. So Yu-Gi... It was the same premise. Yu-Gi was, you know, completed the Millennium Puzzle and Spirit of just something took over him and he was just the king of games the spirit and he'd be really good at all the various different type different types of board games any type of game that they would play uh they were all also they're not hmm, i think there were some video games later on but nothing not much it was mainly sort of like you know card games board games that kind of stuff uh so we got here stage which is hades i don't know why fucking tristan unlocks hades but all right unfortunately jones doesn't have his own um uh, support would have been nice unfortunately but he does not but we do at least have you know Yugi as a playable character which is something that I didn't think I would see uh, in this kind of game we unfortunately can't get the final one for uh, Yugi here because we don't have enough uh, green coma which sucks uh, let's do something about that actually alright so I went ahead and I got a bunch of uh, coma just because I know I'm going to need them later on. So I stocked up on a bunch. So let's go ahead and uh, use it on our little buddy Yugi here to get his final form here. And uh, I think we'll just leave off the episode just looking at look, taking a look at the uh, sort of shit that we unlock. Uh, which we haven't really done this for the other series. The ones that I at least knew about. But I figured I might as well do this for Yugi since 
It's one of my favorites, and I kind of <laughs> did the missions way too quickly. Yu-Gi-Oh! is about a boy named Yugimoto and his alternate ego who lives in his pendant known as the Millennium Puzzle, Yami Yugi, who plays a card game known as Duel Monsters. However, everything is not so simple. The game of Duel Monsters origin originates in ancient Egypt, and the monsters in the cards are based off real monsters. Also, the Millennium Puzzle holds several powerful secrets. Pretty decent uh, summary there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, stay fresh.